and welcome to day four. It's a bit of a change. I think we've just ridden about 75 kilometers and climbed about 200 meters. So what you just saw is the thing that keeps us on tour, I believe, arrows. That was a uh, Grenoble that we've just gone through. And I've got the pronunciation right there, any? Uh, and you follow the arrows. Which, fortunately, I try and follow people that follow the arrows because it takes less concentration. But uh, I'll show you where they are. And maybe what I'll try and do later on today is have a chat with Sam, who's doing the signing, which I think is probably one of the most challenging jobs on tour. So um, flat stage today, relief after the mountains, thoroughly enjoying it, beautiful weather. You can see behind me, first or second food stop. All is good in the world. So here we are at the end, got here because of all the arrows. This is Sam who does the signing, known as Signing Sam. So Sam, <laughs> talk to us. You are up way before the rest of us. What time are you up? Uh, generally it's on the way by 5, 5.30. 5.30. And how, any idea how many arrows you put up? Uh, today, probably near 150, 200. 150. And, how, and this is my biggest thing. How do you not just switch off and forget to put them up? Because <laughs> we forget to look at them. <laughs> Uh, occasionally I do forget and have to go back and check the route to make sure you forget things at 5.30. And the other one is, when we're doing these steep descents, there's one like on these dual carriageways. So do you just park somewhere strategic, get out, put it up and jump back in? Or are you like, because they're the scariest, they must oh, be. Oh, completely. I get uh, a lot of very dodgy looks from people and my, <laughs> my French look is this whenever they question me. But gen generally I get away with it just about. Well I reckon if we didn't eat and we didn't have, well if we didn't have the arrows we couldn't ride and then the eating <laughs> second so you're top man. Cheers Sam. Oh, good, mate.